For the first time, the United States has used its sophisticated B-2 stealth aircraft against the Houthis in Yemen. The B-2 bombers have conducted precision strikes against five hardened underground weapon storage locations in Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said. U.S. forces targeted several Houthis' underground facilities housing various weapons used to target civilian and military vessels throughout the region. The Houthis claim to have downed several American Reaper drones in Yemeni airspace in the past year. And the B-2 bombing comes at a time U.S. troops have begun arriving in Israel for the deployment of the Thard anti-missile system. It is supposed to bolster Israeli air defense against Iran's aerial assault. Austin said the use of B-2 bombers should serve as a warning to adversaries. This was a unique demonstration of the United States' ability to target facilities that our adversaries seek to keep out of reach, no matter how deeply buried underground, hardened or fortified. The employment of US Air Force B-2 Spirit long-range stealth bombers demonstrate US global strike capabilities to take action against these targets when necessary, anytime, anywhere, he added. Designed by the American aerospace and defense company Northrop Grumman, the B-2 is considered a top-notch stealth bomber. The design of the aircraft is the closest to a flying bird. It is 69 feet long, 17 feet high and has a wingspan of 172 feet, half the length of a football field. The B-2 can travel 6,000 nautical miles without refueling and 10,000 nautical miles with only one refueling. It can reach a high subsonic speed, can get to altitudes of over 50,000 feet. The bomber can carry both conventional and nuclear munitions and payloads of 20 tons. It is powered by four engines made by General Electric and can accommodate pilots. The bomber packs massive firepower and can penetrate the most sophisticated enemy defenses. The aircraft stationed at the Whiteman Air Base in Missouri were put to action for the first time during the Kosovo War in 1999. It has subsequently been used in Afghanistan, Iraq and Libya. It holds the record for longest air combat mission in history, a 44-hour mission in Afghanistan.